Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today I'm doing a grocery haul. I had a request for more grocery hauls and meal prep sessions. I have to leave for work in like a half an hour, so I went grocery shopping. I'm gonna shove this all in the fridge and then I'll deal with it later. I bought a lot of stuff today because I've been on a super strict budget for summer. I had a great weekend last weekend. It was restaurant week. I made way better money than I've been making, so I was able to go to all my stores and get all the stuff I need. My fridge was looking barren. Anyway, um, so it's kind of a big grocery haul. <laughs> I went to Trader Joe's, I went to Whole Foods, and I stopped at Price Right for the cheap ground beef. <sighs> Let's just start digging through these bags. <laughs> at some point, I don't want to keep buying these. It's not good for the environment. I worry about, I mean, I guess these are BPA free, they're from Whole Foods. Still, I want to get a really good quality water filter, but for now I'm going to buy these. And my pets drink filtered water, this too. <laughs> so I go through kind of a bit, a bit of it. I bought this $2 freezer bag because I knew I was going to two other stores and I didn't want my food to get, you know, warm. I went there for the beef, but they had these, or they had organic beets and they were like $3 a bunch, which is way cheaper than Whole Foods and anywhere else. So I got two bunches. I love the greens more than the beets. Oops. I actually seek out the ones with the most greens and the smallest beets because I, I don't know, I don't know what to do with so many beets. Like I, I eat them, I like them, but I really love these. <laughs> Here's the real reason I went to price right. Four dollars a pound. It's worth a trip there. Just for this. This is grass fed and the use by date on this is like three weeks from today. Perfect. So I got six pounds and um, that's all I got from price right. Good deal. <laughs> I got some baby bok choy. That was not on my list, but I was like, oh, I make good money last weekend. Organic baby bok choy, little weakness of mine. Then I got liver, and instead of the usual, I usually get the pre-packaged, perfectly cut, $12.99 a pound, grass-fed, milk-fed veal liver. I got the step one from Whole Foods. Hopefully it doesn't bother me that this beef was fed, like, soy and corn or whatever. I don't know, we'll see. But um, at least no hormones and antibiotics. So I got like two pounds of step one animal welfare rating Whole Foods beef liver. Instead of buying fresh shellfish, which was getting expensive as much as I love it, I love it, but I love that in the winter. Um, I got these raw chopped sea clams and a tub of these, and this was still kind of pricey. This was like $8. I've seen clams for like $4.99 a pound. Um, when they go on sale, I'm going to stock up, but these are my clams for my V12. Gotta have them. And what I've been doing for oysters lately, I didn't need to buy any because I knew I had some. I've been getting these, but they still have zinc and that's why I eat them. I put two in my lunch every day and they don't taste that good. I'm getting my zinc. It's a functional thing. I'm going to try to find a source of frozen shucked oysters or oysters shucked in a bucket because we get these at work. So I know I can, but until then, sandwich bags, BPA free. got these $3 a pound, but I was like, what the heck is a piñata apple? Organic piñata apples from Argentina. Whole Foods bag number two. I've been loving cabbage because it's cheap and it's so yummy stir-fried or I, you know, I slice it and I throw it in salads or I make coleslaw. Um, I made this delicious onion coleslaw dressing I'm gonna do a video on at some point. Anyway, loving my cabbage, so got two of these. I got two gorgeous big organic pink grapefruits. I got sweet potatoes. I'm not sick of them. <laughs> I actually did a root vegetable comparison. I'll do a video on that at some point. And sweet potatoes won as far as all the root vegetables, as far as nutrition bang for your buck. The sweet potatoes had the, le the least carbs, they were the least calorically dense in volume, and they just had more like vitamins. And I love the Whole Foods Lemon Raspberry Italian Sparkling Water because I like to mix my reintroduced pure distilled spirits in it. <laughs> okay, Trader Joe's. Pretty decently priced paper towels. Oh, and no chlorine bleach, winning. So I, I have successfully reintroduced nuts and I was eating a lot of macadamia nuts. They're like $18 a pound on Amazon. That's the best deal I could find for the raw macadamia nuts. Forget that. I'm, I've switched to raw pecans and hazelnuts for my like quick on the go snack that I can grab a handful of. Reintro and salmon. I won't pay more than ten ninety nine a pound for salmon. Sometimes it goes on sale. Well, I haven't seen it this year eight ninety nine, but sometimes you get it for nine ninety nine. But instead of hunting it down and going to yet another store, I just get it from Trader Joe's. It's ten ninety nine a pound. This is wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. 
and it's uh it's good i eat this every single day before work um i eat like a four ounce portion i didn't know when i so the rest of the summer might be really slow so i kind of stocked up on it while i had the money <laughs> i just need my salmon that was bag one from trader joe's i love arugula you guys know that Arugula, 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 arugula. <laughs> I normally don't bite chopped romaine. They didn't have the whole romaine hearts. I'd rather have the whole romaine heart. My dogs like to eat the, the middle stem. This was the only organic romaine they had, and it's a good source of folate. I bought it. My jewel dates, $5 a pound at Trader Joe's. Like, you cannot beat that. I don't eat as many of these as I used to. They are loaded with sugar, but I'll have 50 grams, like, on a pre-workout day. I love them. They're so fast and easy. Pre-peeled garlic because it saves me time. Organic Brussels sprouts. They didn't have organic lemons. They only had conventional. So I was like, whatever. I'll just use lime juice for everything. These are nice big limes. I got sweet white onions for making my coleslaw dressing. I'm going to do a video on. It's like a sweet, it's like a emulsified mayonnaise type of dressing. Emulsified with these sweet onions. And then I got red onions because they're my favorite, but when you make that mayonnaise stuff with these, it turns out pink. This is a reintro. Black coffee in a can. That's my emergency stash. And coconut water, favorite brand, nothing in it. No ascorbic acid, which could be derived from corn, used as a preservative. It's just coconut water, 100%. And Trader Joe's has this liter for like $3.99, which is the best price I've seen. These are not AIP because there's lactic acid in the olives. I'm okay with it, but it's, it's technically not compliant. I ran out of oil to cook with, so I got some triple filtered coconut oil. Brick snacks! Sardines! They have a good price on canned sardines at Trader Joe's. I thought I saw BPA free on these. Maybe I was hallucinating. I don't see it now. Wah, wah, wah. So yeah, that's what I got in my grocery haul today. I am running so late for work. I'm literally just shoving this all in the fridge as I go. Um, like I said, I'll deal with it later. How much did I spend? I spent like $147 at Trader Joe's because the salmon. I got a lot of salmon. And then I spent $63 at Whole Foods. Not too bad. Price right, it was $31 for all that beef. There's my haul. I'm going to show you what I do with all this stuff in an upcoming video. So subscribe below so you don't miss that. And you can also check me out um, on Lens, which is a Patreon feature, but it's free to the public to view. I like, you know, take little clips when I do these shopping trips and my meal preps and stuff like that. So you get more behind the scenes. Once in a while, I'll put a recipe on there or something. Anyway, yeah, hope to see you soon and uh, until then be healthy.